Let's take a look at the parts of the judo gi and just learn a little bit about what a judo gi is composed of. Uh, judo gi is a judo garment. The word gi means to, a garment, basically. And the proper way to uh, use the term, actually, is to use it judo gi, jujitsu gi, aikido gi, do gi, karate gi. It's always the second word. You never just call it gi. But we're all, we're all guilty of doing that. I, I'm as bad as calling it gi and no gi, that type of thing. So it's commonly done. But the proper nomenclature is called a judo gi. So, so Kenny, if you could extend your arms out to the side. And you can see the different parts of the judo gi there. Uh, the jacket is called the uwagi. The uwagi. The jacket is composed of the eri, E-R-I, eri. And those are the uh, lapels, okay, as you can see. They, and by the way, Jigeru Kano, when he designed this judo gi, he was the guy who designed the judo gi. Uh, he liked the wider lapels for the good gripping as well as for the lapel strangle. So that's, uh, that's a, a feature that was designed directly by Kano himself. Um, look at the arms, the, the, uh, the jacket, the sleeves extend all the way to the wrist. Again, that was a feature developed by Jigeru Kano. Um, so it'd be, uh, so it'd cover the elbows. And the re really rough tatami of that era uh, really took this, its tolls on its elbows and knees. So uh, the added cloth, cloth around the elbow really does help. And the sleeve is called the sode, the sode. Okay, thanks, can you drop your arms, okay. And that, now his belt is the obi, okay. And the bottom part under the obi of the jacket is called the suso, okay. That means apron, okay. That's the apron of the jacket. Okay, the pants are the uh, zuban, zuban. And when Kenny's off the mat, he wears his zori or his sandals or footwear to keep his feet clean and, you know, when he's wearing off the mat. Uh, by the way, the pants were uh, like the, the uh, sleeves by Jigeru Kano. Um, the uh, Jigeru Kano developed the pants to be longer to cover the knees as well. Uh, to, again, because of the rough tatami or the, the, the surface there, the mat surface they were doing judo on at the time, really took its toll, a lot of, a lot of knee scrapes, a lot of elbow scrapes. So one of the things he did, the innovative things he did, was lengthen the pants so you, they are now what you see. Uh, the judo gi, as, as we all know, is made of pretty rough material, strong material. You know, there's single weave, double weave, and, you know, different types. And the, and the jiu-jitsu gis that the Brazilian jiu-jitsu people wear is a bit different than what we wear in judo. But this is kind of what, uh, what the judo gi looks like and the parts of the judo gi. So uh, there you have it. Okay, we're going to take a look at how the traditional way, the Kodokan judo way of folding a judo gi, okay? It's, it's an interesting thing. A lot of people don't do it anymore, but you know, it's, uh, it's, worth, it's worth studying. So let's take a look at it. First of all, take your judo gi, put it out, left over right on the flap here on the lapel, okay? So it's nice and out like this, all right? Fold your pants, fold them up here where they're inside the judo gi itself here, okay? So it's nice and neat. All right, one over, one over. Okay, just like that. It's kind of square. All right, flap it over where it's even here. Flap it over where it's even here. Like this. All right. So it's like they're closed. Like that. And then just fold it in half. And that's how you do it. Okay, that's the basic fold of it. Now take your belt, double it like this. Slide it under, okay. All right. Now some people will just do this, and that's okay. You know, you can carry your gi like that. That's fine. But if you want to, you can do it around a couple times here. Actually, there we go. Pull it nice and tight, and you get your folds under there. And you can either fold it or loop it this way. That's what I did when I was a kid. That's how my sensei taught me to do it. Another way of doing this, if you want to really do it the long way or the hard way, is take the whole belt and just wrap it continually around like this and like that. Some people will do this and you'll go ahead and tie it in your square knot just like this. And that looks good too. So you can see that's the basic way of folding the judo gi. How you tie the belt on there is the most convenient way, but here is a, a traditional way of folding the entire judo gi. And it might be nice, easy little way to put in your bag, carry it nice and neat. So that's the traditional way of folding the judo gi.